Okay, Michael, I just wanted to give you a little uh, quick shout out at um, what it looks like around here on the resort um, that you're going to inherit to use. Now, we're not, this is not where we're staying, but this is on, you know, they got communities all over here um, on the resort. Uh, this is on the bay side. They got all kinds of resorts, uh, you know, communities on the ocean and the Gulf side, see, and then waters there. So it's a really, really nice place. Um, we'll come up here a little bit. I'm not riding my bike this morning. It's overcast again today, although it's 70, I don't know, 72, something like that. It's been overcast every day since we've been, been here. Um, so, um, so it's nicely landscaped. It's all nicely landscaped here. Um, it's one of the premier resorts on the, on the panhandle of Florida. See, they got nice little, little waterways here. Uh, now in the season, you can, uh, catch and release fish here. So I do that. Your mom sometimes does it. Um, they got lakes all over there. They got three or four golf courses here. They're very expensive to play on. So, yeah, I don't, I don't play on them because they're too expensive for all the richies here that live here. So, I'm going to go back on the main road again. And um, there's big tennis courts. People are really big on tennis down here. Also, see nice ponds with fountains. And they have an area up here on the left called Baytown Wharf, which is all shops, restaurants, and everything right on the resort. They have a big marina, too, here. People bring their boats, big boats. <laughs> so, um, thought I'd just give you a little video of what it looks like here. Um, just to get in your mind uh, what you'll be getting when... Uh, in the inheritance so it's a really really nice place bring your bicycle get a bicycle very family friendly very safe very secure you have security driving around here all the time um, so over here on the left this is the baytown wharf area i was telling you through to tell you about let's see here i can go around the circle here See, there's a sign that says Baytown Wharf, shop, dine, and play. Oh, man, the bus. Oh, yeah, they have a tram. There's the tram there. You can go all over the resort uh, on the tram. Let's see, maybe if I just cut in front of him here. Okay, he's moving. Good. So here's one of the entrances to it. See, way back in there. And right there on that, they have concerts right there. You just bring your chair, free concerts. You just bring your chair and um, I just hang out and listen to whatever they're, um, whoever's playing that night. Um, over here is Adventureland. They have all kinds of stuff, ice cream shops, um, all kinds of uh, those wire things that you slide across on. So, um, Anyways, these are all places that you can stay at. People do, they rent them, people own them. Let's see if I can get across here. Okay, I can go. See, now this is a gated, That's those, those are for the very wealthy people back in there. You can see back in there. And they got another uh, condominium right here. There are all kinds here. And over on the beach side, there's a bunch over on the beach side. You can play putt-putt golf over there. We do, but this year the price went way up. So we just 
played there once. We're not going to play there again. They don't even give you a discount for being a member here. So, huh, who knows. Okay, so here's a neighborhood here. We'll go back in here. These are little places. This time of year, a lot of people like to get things done on their before they come down for the summer. You can see they're very, very nice. Uh, most most everybody has a golf cart here, and that's how they get around on the resort. You can go over to the beach um, side on your golf court cart. They have a, um, a tunnel that goes under Highway 98 that you can ride your bicycle to under, or you can walk, or you can take your go-kart, I mean, yeah, golf cart, and um, go under Highway 98. And it's a it's a pretty it's a six wide um, a six wide uh, U.S. street. So um, yeah, you want to be protected and be safe. You don't want to go across that at the light there. So let's see, am I good to get out here? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, so this is over on the east side of the. I don't know what they call this over here. There's a, there's another one up here. It's called Burnt Pines. That's their golf course. That's uh, very luxurious. You can't get back in there. It's skated. Um, so nice ponds again. It's it's nice over here on this side. It's much more quiet. See, there it is. A private community. This place is kind of cool up here. I forget what it's called. Um, now this one, I watched them build this one. I'm going to go back in here. These are real narrow places. They're like a couple stories. Uh, you know, two or three stories. Um, I watched them build. When I first saw this back in here, I thought, ah, I wouldn't want to be back in here. See another golf course over there. See people walk, people bike. It's just a very, very nice family friendly place here. So, see these units? They're just close, so close together. Um, yeah. I, well, I watched them build this thing. There was nothing here, and then. I'd build one, then build another. And behind this uh, area here, there's a little lake. And they just look across that. So you can see that there's a, like a canal or something right there. So. Here's a place, one of the last places to be built right here. It, you know, these are... It, Expensive people. I don't know how people have so much money, but these are like probably uh, I'd say three quarters of a million dollar homes, anywhere from 500 to 750. Um, I just don't know how people do it. So this is a loop in this community. Most communities are. Some are dead end on the, yeah, we're on a little bit farther. Now there's some kind of a co cool looking houses back in there. They're really country, country charm looking houses. Um, some with big wide open porches. Yeah, that's a really pretty community back in there. We like to drive back in there once in a while and go just look back in there. And they're, they're spread out in that other one, they're spread out. So, and now they put, see they're putting tile, terracotta tile on that roof up there. And they, here's another one being built. See, there's an empty lot. So, you know, it's almost all uh, built now. And, you know, with every little community like this, you have their association fees that you have to pay. Plus, then you have to pay 
See, here's another one being built. Um, you have to pay uh, the Sandestin resort fees. So I looked into it when the economy wasn't really good some years back to see if we could we could buy one. And so I talked to Trish Holbert. Our, here's another lot. See the can look at have views onto the golf course. Anyways, so I talked to Trish Holbert, who's our financial advisor over our investments, and she said that um, we just couldn't sustain uh, with all the fees and everything. She said if it was a private a private residence, like somewhere off the resort, um, she said then we might be able to do it, but. Um, it was just a big risk to put our portfolio and our financial portfolio in. So we didn't do it. And, you know, it was best. We can come here for, for reasonably cheap and uh, do what we want to do and um, that you'll be able to do too. So it only costs a thousand bucks for both weeks here which people pay like 500 a night just to be here. Okay, so this is this area here that they're, they're continuing to build on. It's called Tuscan. It's kind of like an Italian looking place. And I kind of like this little area back in here. And this laid vacant for many years. And now that, I don't know, I guess because the, uh, the, um, the mortgage rate was so long for so for so low for so long that I guess people um, said let's go ahead and build contractors said let's build and they're selling them so there's a golf course from another community on the back side of this so you get to look out over that but this is the Tuscan um, community see back there you can Go back there, um, and all these places, um, you know, they you have to have um, the community association. They keep up everything on the outside, the paint, the um, the landscaping, um, everything. So you got to pay for that. It's all consistent with what the um, that community has. So. This is a real quiet area back over in here. Very rarely you see a lot of just tourist type people back here. But so, cause these are all private homes back in here, million dollar homes back in here. Um, well, maybe we'll go back in this area here. A little cul-de-sac street. Look at that the garage they got louvers on the garage. I'm surprised this area is not more uh, occupied. But you know, people own these, so these are just summer homes for for a lot of them. Just summer homes. I don't know where they come from. They come from all over the United States. You'll see license plates from all over. Mainly, you know, from the southeast, east. Um, occasionally I see stuff from Arizona or, you know, like that. Um, but mostly either the southeast or the northeast or the midwest um, people come here. But see, they, people walk, you know, it's just a really... Um, very very nice area, and that's that community. That's a community on the other side of this resort. You know, big fancy homes there. I have no idea what that is. I've never been back there. I don't even know how to get there. <laughs> so here they're working on the the wall there along the canal. 
Uh, anyway, I know this is kind of a long video, but I thought you'd enjoy it just to see what you're going to go uh, get the, um, you know, experience um, when we're gone. Um, or you could try and rent one place down here by yourself just to get an experience. So your mom and I, you can rent it for like, at this time of year, you can rent it for, um, through Beach Blue Properties, which we did. Um, they're like 1500 for a week. And then you got some, you know, cleaning fees and stuff like that. So maybe two grand for a week. You could come down here and just try it out. Um, it's about a, you know, you know, your mom and I have to, um, we have to take a break now. She can't ride that far. It's like, if you drive all the way through, it's about eight and a half, nine hours. Um, so here we go. Genoa. A lot of this has got a, an Italian thing to it. Just beautiful, man. It's just, you know, every time I come down here, I forget how pretty it is here. Nice fountain there. This is a loop also. I got a little lake there in the middle. All privately held homes. Who knows what kind of businesses and jobs and uh, live in these vacant lot that's not been built on yet. So, um, it's, it is kind of expensive here as far as being, um, you know, gasoline is higher. It's like 323 You can find it at um, different, uh, like at Walmart, you can get it for 303 um, but food, Publix is here, and Winn Dixie. Now, Winn Dixie is cheaper than Publix, um, but still, food is pretty expensive here. So, what we do is we try to load up as much as we can. We have a little cooler that we plug into the cigarette out, uh, lighter outlet, and um, it allows us to um, bring down, you know, things that you know, meat or whatever to be cool. See, there's a landscaping company doing their spring cleanup here. Anyways, um, yeah, so we we bring, we got a couple boxes. We put all our cereal and snacks and everything we can we can um, get without having to buy it here because it's, it's pretty expensive here. It's a tourist area, um, so... You're gonna pay tourist prices. Um, what else can I tell you about here? Usually it's very, very sunny here. Uh, I don't know, just some kind of weather pattern that we're locked into is just foggy, overcast. You know, it's 72, I think, right now. Um, and, um, Looks like they're getting ready to build there. It's all cleared off. So, um, yeah, usually it's really, really nice. When you come here in May, it's it's like uh, upper 70s, maybe low 80s. Just brilliant sunshine. Um, I like to come a little bit later, but it beats the summer crowd because the beach can get really, really packed. And... Um, it's just hard to find. They, they, you know, the the big resorts, they or the Sandestin Resort has this company that has these chairs they put out, and when it's really crowded, they put out four rows. Well, you can't be in front of those paid chairs unless you go way down by the waterfront, and so um, your mom just can't walk through the sand like that that far. Um, so we have to be back farther in, in from the water. We used to like to be right on the water, but, you know, that's life. See, look at this. They just built a, a new house here. 
um, putting a, oh, they just built two houses here. Wow. I wonder if the, the parents bought a place for the, maybe it's just a contractor building spec homes to sell. Um, but, um, it could be that a family bought both places and the, the daughter and, or the son lives in one and they live in the other. So it's just beautiful here. It's really, really, really nice. See, um, So anyways, I'll, I'll just shut it off and there's more to be seen here. Um, you can tell that this is a, it's a 2,500 acre resort, both sides of Highway 98. Um, so lots of, lots of room here to explore and just ride your bike and relax. So uh, the only, I might say this, uh, um, at the Bay Club, which we have in May, they don't allow golf carts. So I guess they, they, years ago they did, but they had young people that were uh, abusing the golf carts, and and so they got in trouble, I guess, insurance-wise, so they had to drop the carts. I tried to, there's a new manager there. Last year they arrived, I tried him. To see if we could get hooked up with this other building that's separate from the Bay Club where they have golf carts if we could together just join up with them and um, you know rent golf carts from them but he said it was a no-go the board of directors said no so but um, any event uh, so what we do is we have done is there, I met this lady here who owns a uh, an indi individual little condo like where we're at in that same area, and um, if if she can, she'll rent that golf cart to us. So we that's what we do. So in the morning, I'll come over and ride over my bike, lock it up at her place, and then um, drive the cart over to the Bay Club. I don't park it in the parking lot. I park in the parking lot across the street from them. Um, and, um, where they have this convention center, people park there from, you know, all over to do things around that area. So, yeah, so that's how we kind of get around that. It's an additional expense, but it's nice to have a golf cart here. You can go over to the point, golf cart, golf, golf course point in the summertime and watch the sunsets. They're beautiful. A lot of people do that. Um, they just take their family and load them up and go over there to the point. Some fish while the sun's going down and watch the sunset. Beautiful place for sunsets. So, whew, I know I got kind of uh, long-winded here. So I guess I'll just shut it off and hopefully you enjoyed this little thing. I'll have to, I'll have to do it by uh, maybe send it to YouTube and send, and I have, you know, like you, I have a YouTube channel, and so I'll send you the link from the YouTube channel, and then you can watch it from there. Okay, son. Uh, hope you can get a chance to come down and just try it sometime. I think you'll just be inspired and I'll be glad that you had a chance to check it out. I can help if you want to do that, and, and you know, you, on your like a week's vacation here, I could um, help you with, you know, through Beach Blue Properties. We can look at some stuff for you, see what you like, um, and then go from there. Try it out. I think you'll really like it here. Okay, blessings to you, son.